Hello everyone! I just can't believe how well my previous Unity tips were received. A lot of you guys were asking for more, so here are my top 10 Unity Quick Tips 2.0. Alright, let's go! Number 1. Maximizing Windows You can quickly maximize and minimize windows in Unity by hovering over them and hitting Shift Space. This is particularly useful for the scene and game view, and sometimes even the animator if you're working on a large controller. Number 2. Locking Layers Sometimes when you're working on a scene with a lot of objects, it can be hard to select the right one. Thankfully, Unity allows you to create a layer, assign objects you don't want to click on to that layer, and then lock it. It even works for sorting layers as well. Now you can click away without a care in the world. Number 3. Quick Focus Now most people who've been using Unity for a little while probably know that you can quickly focus on an object by selecting it, hovering over the scene view, and hitting F. But something that a lot of people miss is that if you double tap the F key, you will lock onto that object. This is really useful if you want to inspect moving objects. Number 4. Tooltips In the last video we looked at using headers and spaces to better organize your script. But if you want to be 100% on top of your inspector game, you can use the tooltip attribute to write a variable description that will appear when hovering over it. Number 5. Auto statements When writing a for loop, there is quite a bit of syntax that you need to get right. Luckily, in Visual Studio, you can simply write for and then press the tab key twice. This will automatically generate a for loop. You can now just tap through and fill out the desired information, then hit enter to complete it. This also works with if, for each, while and switch statements. Number 6. Regions For some reason, I see very few people using regions when programming in Unity. Personally, I couldn't do a day without it. Regions allow you to mark a certain part of your code. This way, if you sometimes write monstrously large scripts like I do, you can easily collapse parts of your code to focus on the important bits. To begin a section, simply write hashtag region and insert hashtag end region to close it. Number 7. Documentation shortcut Ever wondered what a component does or what one of the variables mean? Well, you can quickly navigate to the documentation for a component by simply hitting the book in the upper right corner. Corner. This is a lot faster than doing a Google search. Number 8. Expand and collapse all. If you're holding down Alt while expanding an object in the hierarchy, it will expand all child objects as well. The same thing happens when collapsing. Number 9. Color picking. Again, most people probably know that you can sample colors using the color picker. One neat thing about this though is that you can actually pick colors from outside the Unity editor. Number 10. Undocking the preview. If you're inspecting a model or animation and want to get a closer look, you can right click in the upper part of the preview to undock it. That's pretty much all the tips and tricks I could fit into this video, thanks to all of the people who shared their favorite tips in the comments. If you want to get any of the assets seen in this video, you can go to devassets.com. If you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing. You can also support me at Patreon, patreon.com slash brackies. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome people who donated in January, and a special thanks to Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, James Callahan, Robert Barnum, Peter Locke, and Jason Dottito. If you want to become a patron yourself, you can do so at patreon.com slash brackies. Thanks a lot, guys.